All right, what is up, everybody? Uh, Purak here with another MCAT question of the day. Today, we're doing a very practical MCAT question, and I get this actually from a paper, which I'm going to link right down below, um, and it's going to test a very fundamental concept. So let's get into it. It says, homing is the phenomenon whereby cells migrate to the organ of their origin. For example, lymphocytes have a wide variety of signals that they depend on to ultimately end up in the lymph nodes. Initially, it was believed that lymphocytes migrated to the lymph nodes because they all had a molecule on their membrane called L-selectin. However, in latter years, it was found that a wide variety of cells that don't home to the lymph nodes also possess L-selectin on their cell membranes. Based on these findings, it was determined that basically the answer choices are all permutations of the necessary versus sufficient uh, monologue. So it could be that L-selectin was necessary and sufficient for lymphocyte recruitment. Was it not necessary but nor sufficient? was necessary but not sufficient, or it wasn't sufficient but not necessary. Which one was it? So clearly the issue here is necessary versus sufficient, right? These are two different terms used to describe two different things. What's the difference? And this is seen in papers all the time. You will read papers where it will say, our experiment showed that this was necessary and sufficient. You will read papers in the opposite direction. And so it's important for you to understand this, but it's also important for the MCAT slash DAT slash any standardized test you're taking. I think making sure you understand this is a pretty big concept. So what does it mean for something to be necessary? If something is necessary, it means that well, let's say there's a factor. If a factor is necessary for an outcome, that means the outcome will not occur without a factor. So let me show you there. This has factor A, factor B, and factor C. Let's call all of these factors, okay? And this is the outcome, D. In this case, A, B, and C are needed for D to happen. So you can say that A is necessary for D, B is necessary for D, and C is necessary for D. Okay, all three of those are necessary. Similarly, you might know, if you look in the upper right hand corner, that humans are made up of nucleic acids, proteins, carbohydrates, and lipids. So nucleic acids are necessary to be human, proteins are necessary to be human, carbohydrates are necessary to be human, and so are lipids, because those are the four main macromolecules. So that is necessary. Necessary means this is a component needed to make our outcome happen. Now, here's the subtlety. What does it mean for something to be sufficient? Well, something is something uh, to be sufficient. If you're of a factor, if that factor is sufficient for an outcome, that means the factor's presence always causes an outcome. So in this case, look at A, right? If I have A as my uh, factor and D as my outcome, then you'll notice that if I have A, I will get D. So A is sufficient to cause D. A is sufficient for D. More importantly, let me put this in a real life example. If you chop off your head, <laughs> that's sufficient to cause death. All right, you don't, you all you need to do is chop off your head and it's pretty much guaranteed that you're probably dead. Um, and so that's an example of something to be sufficient, right? It means that if you have this factor, it will always cause the outcome. Let's relate it back to the problem now. So we know that we have this handy dandy legend here, right? And I told you that this is a lymphocyte cell. And the lymphocyte cell, every single lymphocyte cell that goes to the lymph node has this selectin molecule, L-selectin. But we also know that there are non-lymphocyte cells. This is a non-lymphocyte cell. And that still also has L-selectin. But in this case, it does not go to the lymph nodes. It goes somewhere else. That's basically what's said in this problem, right? So what exactly does this mean? Well, this L-selectin, which I'm going to stick to the nomenclature that was presented in this legend, in this diagram. And remember, lymphocyte cells go to the lymph nodes, non-lymphocyte cells don't go to the lymph nodes, even though they both have the selectin. But we know that this L-selectin is needed, right? We definitely need it. If you're a lymphocyte, you have L-selectin. So it's needed for the lymphocytes to go to the lymph nodes. But just because you have this selectin doesn't mean you go to the lymph nodes. Right? Because you could be a, oh, that looks funky. You could be another uh, type of cell that doesn't go to the lymph node. Right? So in this case, uh, the L selectin is present in every cell that goes to the lymph nodes, but we don't, but it could also be present on other cells that don't go to the lymph nodes. So, what is going on here? Well, in this case, L selectin is needed to, for lymphocytes to go to the lymph nodes. 
but just because you have it doesn't necessarily mean you will go to the lymph nodes. I think that sounds totally counterintuitive, but let's go back to this uh, diagram here. It's better to be safe than sorry. Uh, this diagram, right? So I told you that all lymphocytes have this L-selectin molecule. So it's needed to go to the lymph nodes, but just because I have this molecule, right? Let's say I had this molecule. It's not something that I can say was sufficient to go to the lymph nodes. Because in this case, if that molecule was attached to a non-lymphocyte um, cell, which it, it could be, because remember, we do find this molecule attached to non-lymphocyte uh, cells, it doesn't have to go to the lymph nodes. So with that being said, with that being said, let's go back right here. And so you'll see that this is needed. So the L-selectin is necessary, right? But it's not sufficient. And again, it's necessary because any cell that goes to the lymph nodes has the um, L-selectin molecule. But, but, now think about this. If I just told you a cell has the L-selectin on it, you would not be able to tell me with confidence that, oh, yes, it would go to the lymph nodes because the L-selectin molecule is not sufficient to home to the lymph nodes. It's just necessary, all right? So with that, the answer here is actually, um, what is it, C? L-selectin is necessary but not sufficient for lymphocyte recruitment to the lymph nodes, all right? And so with that, uh, that is the answer. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Really appreciate it. You want to check out any of my other videos, there's going to be one right here. Another link to one of my videos right here. And another video right here. Why not? I'll put one video right over here. And last but not least, if you want to subscribe to this channel, really appreciate it, because I'm still an early YouTuber trying to get it down. But a subscription button should be right over here. So please subscribe. Cool. Thanks. See you guys in the next one. Hope you find these videos helpful.